when there's a lot happening on screen, another thing that becomes incredibly important is finding beats of silence within the action so that sounds that we want to stand out are able to really be articulated. For everybody involved, this process is for real. Tom is very keen that we keep the plausibility so that everybody believes this immersion that we're showing them. It can't be overblown. It has to be as true to life as we can possibly make it. It's really difficult to find that balance. Shooting in New Mexico is incredibly challenging. It gets so windy, then it's dusty, and then it rained, and then it snowed. I insisted on having two boom people work with me because I realized there's so much dialogue in a film like this, and Chris does not want to loop. So it's even more challenging. When we first started talking to Bradley about Maestro, he was talking about recording the orchestra live. What I think we didn't quite expect is that we had this other extreme, super intimate scenes. And sometimes they're just like so still and so delicate. Bradley really wanted to feel that size difference. John was insistent on hearing every detail of every action, every movement. We had to mic up the environment. We ran in miles of cable into the house. The mics were hidden out of view. John was very keen that the actors were not seeing any filming paraphernalia while they were performing. It was a whole world of preparation for us to do something that we don't normally do. 